All right, this week we're gonna be pretty simple. We're gonna do an extraction and a bone grafting, but it's not exactly simple. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I struggle taking out canines. They're the hardest teeth to take out, and especially as I've become better and better and more in tune to implant dentistry, I know how important it is to preserve that bone, especially that buckle plate, and that buckle plate is often so thin on our canines. So here we have a gentleman that has pretty dense bone and it's a canine broken down to the gum line, decayed, just one of those things where you're like, I know this is gonna take a long time. But recently uh, we invested in piezo surgery. We bought the Acteon Cube uh, and I have been pleased. I've had a piezo surgery before and it did pretty good, but the Cube has seen, I don't, I can't quantify how much of an increase, but we've seen a significant increase in the power and we're gonna use the cube to help us uh, help loosen the periodontal ligament to cut some of that out of there and make it a little bit easier to take out the tooth. And then we're gonna do some simple socket preservation. So I hope you enjoyed this week's video. This type of case is exactly what you do live in weekend one of our digital implant continuum. You will take out teeth and you will do bone grafting on actual patients in weekend one of our digital implant continuum. If you want more information, 3d-dentist.com and sign up. I know our first one's already sold out, so go ahead and get ready for the second one and get registered early. Thank you very much and enjoy the video. All right, let me introduce you to Brian. He came in pain on tooth number six, uh, broken down to the gum line. Here's an x-ray. Uh, here is uh, coming up as a photograph. And listen, this case is pretty simple. To me, the only question is, is can this be done as an immediate implant? Our 3D x-ray that day showed us that an immediate implant wasn't possible because, you know, three quarters of the implant wasn't going to be in bone and or we're going to have to angle the bone coming way out of the buckle, which is not going to give us a good cosmetic result. Uh, so we're going to choose to take the tooth out and extract and graft. So we've got our patient numb and here we are. We're going to go ahead and take our piezo surgery in this particular case. Uh, what we use in our office this is the Acteon Cube, and we're using it essentially just like a periotome to go ahead and kind of expand out, remove the periodontal ligament, and go ahead and try to get the tooth out that way. Um, our patient has pretty um, dense bone, so we're going to come in multiple times. We're going to use elevators, and I want you to also notice that we um, knocked the crown off of tooth number seven uh, and taken out uh, tooth number six when we we're elevating before I started using the cube there. So now I'm gonna use my hands to make sure I can feel the buckle plate to make sure that I'm not gonna rip the buckle plate out. Go ahead and loosen, grab it with the forceps, still struggling, breaking off. Gonna come back in with elevators. And just at this point, it's about having patience. Patience to get this out. Don't, I, you know, I wanna section the area, get it out, but I don't wanna lose uh, that valuable buckle bone because I know the patient wants to do an implant and now we're going to go ahead and try to grab with a forcep and once we got that loose we're able to get it out. So now at this point it's basically a regular extraction socket uh, like with all extraction sockets we go ahead and curette and clean out uh, the socket. We go ahead and cleanse it with sterile saline water and now we went ahead in this particular case we drew blood prior to starting and we're again curetting it trying to create a little bit of bleeding and we're going to go ahead and place our sticky bone which is a mixture of PRF and a corticocancellous bone and then we're going to place uh, some more bone there get the socket nicely filled not dense but not too dense and then we're going to go ahead and place a couple of sutures in this particular site. Um, we placed a collar plug above uh, the bone. Typically what I like to do is I like to put a PRF plug, but in this particular case with this draw we didn't get a good plug to use, so we went to a good old collar plug. And there is a close-up of our extraction site done and uh, clean everything off, make sure that the bleeding is stopped, and then we're going to go ahead and clean uh, site number seven, and we're going to go ahead and glue number seven back on. Um, so we did notice that seven had some decay on the lingual, talked to the patient about it, uh, so that our next step, once we get tooth number six, is we're going to place uh, number six and do a cantilever implant from number six to number seven and extract number seven. Uh, so there, our crown is back on and our patient case is done. Uh, we had a Essex made and we made a... Uh, a Essex retainer basically from a printed model and here is his post-op x-ray and you can see the decay on tooth number seven. 
and uh, we're going to deal with that next. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this and see you next week. All right. You know, our goal is to do great dentistry, to do it as uh, profitably as possible, to do it as conservatively as possible. And at the end of the day, you got to invest in technology to make it easier. In this particular case, we focused on the Action Q piezo surgery unit to help make that happen. Listen, I hope you enjoyed this 3D Dentist T-Bone Speaks podcast. You know what I need you to do. See you next week.